Welcome back to another episode of the Ark Adventure Vlog. This is episode 8. This is a special edition, a first look into the tech tier that's coming out for the consoles. I know it's coming out for the Xbox around Valentine's Day or Valentine's Day. I'm not sure on the exact release, but it is already out on the PC. So we're going to take a look here on a custom server. Again, custom servers is not something that I do often, but in this case, I believe it's warranted. There's a lot of... There's a lot of shit going on with this, like people freaking out, people doing all kinds of stuff. I, you know, I say give it a chance, right? Like I could see how people will complain about this, get afraid, all that good stuff. I get it, it's warranted, but like let's see it first, right? Let's see it in play. Let's see how it moves around in the ecosystem of Ark. Now hopefully my movements aren't too herky-jerky. I am using an actual mouse. You know, I do have a controller, I might do that. Okay, I'm going to set up a location, hopefully scenic enough for everybody, and have a few things already spawned in, and we'll go over some of the materials, resources, uh, the recipes, all that good stuff. Recipes, what am I saying? These are engrams. So with all of that in mind, how do you guys feel about the new tech tier that's coming in for ARC on the consoles? Let me know in the upper right hand corner there, you can take the poll. I'm I'm interested to know how everybody feels about this tech tier as it as it stands now. And the very first thing that you will need to make to do any of this tech tier stuff, any of it is to make the replicator. And that is done inside of the obelisk. Okay, as you know, to get anything in tech tier, you're going to need engrams and elements. And the only way to get that are in boss fights. So you will have to do a tribute in either a drop or a obelisk. You can see it here. Um, there's varying degrees of difficulty. Uh, once you get an element, you can start to craft your very first Tech Replicator. And you build it here in the obelisk. Once you have a replicator, you can build other replicators, but I think the most difficult part of this is not only getting the elements, but then hauling all of these materials. You can see right there, it says 75 element, 5,000 ingot, that's 10,000 raw metal, heavy as shit, 600 crystal, 150 black pearls, and 800 polymer. And I have all the materials already in the obelisk now. And look, look at the sheer weight of this. Insane. And look, there's only like two extra slots left at the end. So once you finally do get your engrams for the tech tier, and you want to actually craft things, you are going to have to make your first replicator. So it's going to be dicey to come all the way out here to an obelisk with those materials and then in turn craft it and then bring it back. And that's, that's a super high value item at that point. So we'll go ahead and craft our first replicator. Do it. Is that super pricey? Oh my levels. There she is. Okay, let's, let's grab it. Insanity. Insanity. Let's see how much this bad boy weighs. Was it four, four pounds? So once you do actually get your blueprints for this, you can, let's see, I think I have a foundation. I have a foundation around here. Can I place this thing? So just so we can see this thing, I'm going to place it like right here. So once you do finally make your replicator, and hopefully you have it in a safer place than this, because this is just for <laughs> illustration purposes, because that would be fucking insane if you did that. I mean, how expensive is this? And this, I do believe, takes element as fuel. This will be... Once this is fired up, this can give you increased crafting rates. So if you're doing bullets, if you're doing... I don't know, uh, what's the other stuff? Bullets, gunpowder, all that good stuff. Uh, either in a chem bench or mortar and pestle, it should speed all of those up. I'm not sure what the radius is on this. But either way, it should help. This is definitely what they call quality of life endgame. 
for sure. So that's how you start things in the tech tier. And let's fly back home, shall we? Oops, gonna hit a rack. Alright, so I'm sure you've seen this on the streams and stuff, but um, if this is on the computer, so if I hit um, forward, control, and shift, I'm gonna do the dash and just eradicate anything that's destructible in front of me. And I do not harvest it, I just straight wreck it. This is also, oh, there goes the fucking bugs. This is also how you walk through stone, wood, and thatch. This does damage metal when you do it. Oh, peace. I just. <laughs> Pond. That's so funny. Pond. Do that super punch. I tell you, I suck. Oh, that was a fucking stupid, crazy punch. All right. Oh, and another thing to note that I found out very quickly is you cannot even wear this gear if you don't know the engram. So if you find this in the wild, you can't even put it on. How crazy is that? So that definitely adds some more to this equation, because I know this is end tier, end game stuff. So it'll be interesting to see how that fits in the grand scheme of things here on the official servers and the dedicated and all that good stuff. Yeah, so you have to know the engram and have element to use this stuff. And it breaks. I had another set before I got eaten by a mantis. I'm sorry, not a mantis, a manta. My gear was getting busticated, and this shit ain't cheap. Now, if you pay attention to the lower right hand corner of the screen, right next to all the standard status symbol stuff you got there, you got the chest, the legs, the hands, and the feet. And if I have the helmet on, which let me try to do it right now before I eat shit, and the helmet. The helmet has three different modes. The first one is, I believe, friendly mode, right? Yeah, it's just a probe. This will show you hostiles in the area. I'm sure if you guys have seen the dev video for this, or even the GameSpot video, I'm sure you saw that. Um, so to summarize what this does, you can see hostiles, friendlies, and dinos. This is great for spotting things, doing farming, and just a little amount of time I've farmed with this, it comes in handy. Um, especially when people are attacking you. So also keep in mind, you are not invincible in this armor, even though it's got great stats, right? We got what? What is this? 100 armor, 180, 180, 180. Uh, you're feeling pretty good, but you can still get wrecked. Oh, look at this guy. And there's also a super punch. I guess now's a good time to show that off. Uh, pound. Owned. Owned. Um, it's great for farming. I even ran into a couple jellyfish over here in the water, and I could see it coming. I could also see the megalodon coming because they do have a tendency to kind of sneak up on you. I'm sure we've all experienced that. Look at this coldfish. He's going to get pulled. All right, so the visor has three modes. You saw the first mode. Uh, second mode is, is this the night vision? Yes, this is the night vision. And the third mode combines both of them. That would be your friendly sonar and the night vision. Comes in handy for nighttime for sure. And even the scope on the rifle has that same night vision kind of scope. Although, if you look, the recoil management is pretty Hector Ramirez. That's okay. Because it's this rifle's OP right now as it stands. I mean, look. Hey, what's up, Trek? Oh, Pretty cool at nighttime. The rifle. Here, let me just show you. What's that time of day? Boop. All right. So at nighttime, the rifle's kind of cool. The lighting effects. I don't know if this will translate to the counts or not. Consoles, I should say, plural. But it's cool. You'll see little light sources come off the gun. You'll see it kind of trace across the ground. Pretty badass. And if I get close enough, you can see it in the trees. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I love it. Oh, there you go. So when these uh, little pieces of armor, I'm kind of getting sidetracked here. If you look off to the right hand side of the screen, those pieces of armor, when they get to zero, they will reload with another element. It's kind of auto reloading. And depending on what you're doing, uh, they'll deplete faster or 
slowly. For the most part, it's a lot like jumping in the game. If you get under a, a, a ceiling in the game and you rapid fire your jump, you can deplete your stamina pretty quick. I think we've all had to deal with doing something like that when we get stuck somewhere, right? You have to blow your stam and basically starve out. Well, in this case, if you keep initiating the, the jump, the send, the, the punch, it seems like you can consume the, uh, the elements a lot faster. If you notice right here, if I actually, when I land this, to take infinite fall damage, I believe my shoes will take, hi take a hit. Yep, see, there you go. And it was enough to push it past the threshold, so I consumed another piece. Although, if you look, I did not take any damage. Uh, see right there. So the jetpack, I believe, is on the chest piece. Yep. It does pretty well, but you can see it kind of depleting now. I'm just, I'm not doing any boost. I'm not doing any kind of zoom here. I'm just doing the standard jetpack, and it, it's, it depletes slowly, but if I keep pumping this, you see how much faster it goes down? That's what I'm talking about. So if you keep just, like, rapid fire, you're going to blow through this expensive resource here. And also, it's worth noting, uh, something I kind of picked up on while I was doing this, is I'm thinking about the grand scheme of things, right? Big tribes, alpha tribes, small tribes, having to compete. And I know at first this looks fucking insane. And you'd be right, it is pretty fucking insane. But I checked the patch notes, um, and it looks like, and again, all this is subject to change because I'm not a developer, but I did do my due diligence here, and it looks like there'll be a, what's called a tech tier tile set, and I can only imagine that would mean basically building sets like you have metal, wood, stone. Uh, it could be something a lot like that, which would make a lot of sense, because if you notice here, let me go ahead and zoom in. Okay, that's at 100%, right? That's 10,000. Yeah, clearly these tech rifles damage metal, which is, it's it's not a bad thing. It seems like the rate is, is good enough, like it's not going to be OP enough. But anyways, the point is, if there's a tech tier, it's most likely going to be resistant to this. Because to be perfectly honest, I know everybody kind of has their own theories as to how this is going to play out. And again, this is my two cents on that. Is It's going to deplete slow enough, and I think by the time people actually get the tech gear, that next patch will be out for us in the council. And I think it's going to make a lot of difference. So I did see the, um, as I mentioned before, I saw the, the tech tile tier which I would assume is the building set, and it looks like there's the shield generator and a tech shield itself. And if that's what I think it is, uh, <laughs> that's like all new level of defense. Can you imagine having a dome around this thing? I've also heard theories that it could be the underwater piece or portion to it as well. It could be both, who knows. Um, again, I haven't had a chance to get my fingers on it, so... Speculation, but it looks like there's going to be more of that kind of coming down the line, because it would only make sense. So... Uh, customization is great. You can also dive these little LEDs, these little streaks of light here, which is pretty fucking awesome. Uh, we'll go ahead and give it a little jade kind of color, yes. Jace. And I believe the LED is six, yep. Green light, yes. Let's give it some Iron Man looking. There we go. Then let's get, let's see, let's get the forest on the old chesticles here. Boop. Now that bitch. And we'll do some more Iron Man. Iron Man dies right here. There we go. Look at that. Looking pretty fucking jammy. Let's get the old fisticles. The green. Yep. Now we'll get tangerines. Looking pretty awesome. Let's zoom in on this. Look at that. What a badass. Right? Like her arms look stupid short now in this gear. It makes her look fucking pudjo. So the jetpack is spacebar when you have an element. I'm going to go ahead and put this gun away. Ooh, got to love the fog. And if you hold shift, or in the console, you know what? Um, I'm not sure that would be in the console. But there is a key to actually hold your hover, which even in the short amount of time I've used this so far, this is fantastic for placing stuff here. I'll even show you. I know the fog is annoying. I agree. So if I want to do that elevation change, I do a jump, and then I do that hover button, which on the computer is shift, and I kind of use my directional pads to change my direction. Look at that. Has it ever been any easier to place shit? The answer is no. This is the best. 
So the first timers for this, which is going to be over the next week or so when this comes out, look for those big convoys because those are the people that are going to be trying to make this stuff first. So if you're going to make a play, that's probably the best time. Think about it. They got to move all that stuff to the obelisk, which, I mean, that's heavy, right? 5,000 ingots. You're going to see a convoy. And more importantly, those big tribes that you might hate on your server, they're going to be vulnerable when they're farming this stuff because they all have to dedicate themselves and resources for at least, what is it, 20, 30 minutes? can't remember if it's 20 or 30 in the boss fights. And they'll probably be hitting it multiple times. So if you want to do a tag, just saying, vulnerability. So I do think it's very fitting that we have these artifacts lined up here because this is a critical component in the chain to get tech tier. I mean, you can't get element unless you're spawning bosses, and bosses require tributes, and those tributes are one of the more difficult parts of the tributes can often be the artifacts themselves. So a line leading into the uh, tech replicator, and you just saw how to actually put that together for your first time, and then you can see here you can indeed build more tech replicators and other objects. You can do the different pieces of the gear here once you actually learn the engrams. I always turn this bitch off. So look, I mean, how important is elements? I mean, it runs the gear, right? It keeps this thing running. It makes this thing for the first time. It makes it so you can craft faster. It's a key element. So that, that also brings up elemental farming. And I know the initial pass through to get your, your first 75 for this guy and change to run it and then your first time to go through on hard with your to get your different engrams and what have you. I think after that, I think farming the elemental should be fairly, I don't want to say easy, but more of a routine type thing because there are varying degrees of difficulty and the different bosses can give you different payouts depending on which one you engage with. And I've already seen a couple of techniques. One I think is, is pretty, seems to be pretty useful is the uh, multiple T-Rex. So uh, it was like five or 10 T-Rex or something like that. And I think the ones they were on were all HP. And I think the ones in the fray were half melee, half HP. And they wrecked the shit out of it doing it. So I think that's a viable option. So I don't know how many, if that's going to be like a two-man or a five-man operation on hard, but I think it's very viable. So once you have those initial pieces, I think farming for the elemental should be okay. And a lot of people might be like, well, no, because, you know, the this this thing is, is pretty OP right now, right? Well, think about this. Each one of these pieces of elemental or element, I think it's just element. If you read the last part, it says it dissolves when transferred across the arc. That basically means it's server bound. So if you want to use this, the rifle, the jetpack, if you want to hover like what I'm doing, you can bring that shit along with you, but you have to become established on the server somewhat to get these artifacts and the pieces, and then in turn take them to an obelisk and not get smoked. So even if you're one of these big tribes that transfer in, I think you're gonna have a hard time using any of this gear. I mean, Shit, you gotta make a damn replicator. I don't even know if you could bring that through. We know for certain you can't take the elemental. So the sheer fact that this whole chain from the, the different tribute pieces, artifacts, element to having a tech replicator, I think enables this to be more of a a server, just a server, like a localized server fight as opposed to a, a big dick tribe coming in and shitting on us and saying, here's all our tech gear. Now look at my scrotum. And you're like, uh, no thanks, I'll pass. And they just jam it down your throat. Well, it's not going to be like that. Since the ammo and the fuel for this is server bound, I think it's going to keep it very interesting. So that, that also leads into the final thought here is, I, I know this all looks kind of crazy, but let's, let's, let's give it a chance. Let's see what it does in the ecosystem of ARC. You know, this is the, the people that implemented this, our wild card, and these are the same people that made the game that we all pretty much are addicted to all the time. So let's, let's give it a chance to see what it does. I mean, shoot. I know we've got another patch that's going to have some, some tech tier stuff on it. I mean, you heard me talk about that earlier. So let's, uh, let's give it a chance, you know. These are the same people that made the game. 
all the cool things that we love, all the different dinosaurs. So uh, let's give it a chance. Let's see what it does in the ecosystem. I bet it's not going to be as bad as everybody thinks it is. I mean, already I've seen, I, I think, pretty good balance so far. So, all right, that'll do it for this special edition of the ARC Adventure Vlog. Tune in next time where we'll be ramping up the Extinction 1. Uh, I'm sorry, PvP Official Extinction Procedural 1. That's a mouthful. If you like my content and you like my channel, consider giving me a little subby doodles. Don't forget, I've got other series running on my channel. I've got the Boyfriend Squad PvP series and the Saga of Server 49. Alright, we'll see you next time, and thanks for watching. Bad baby. Bad baby.